Awards shows can be fun, but sometimes they're just chaotic. Welcome to Beyond the Screen, I'm Nate, and these are 10 of the worst award show moments caught on camera. Number 10, VMAs from 2015. 2015 VMAs were just start to finish rough. Miley Cyrus hosted that year, which was a bad idea. Not that she did a bad job, but she was in the midst of a feud with Nicki Minaj. Nicki called her out when she took to the stage to accept her best hip hop award, asking her what was good. Miley had just talked trash about her in the New York Times, and there was a brief back and forth, but all in all, it could have been way worse. Oh yeah, it did get worse. On top of dropping a numerous amount of F-bombs during the show, there was was a wardrobe malfunction for Miley. At one point in the show, she did a bit where she was holding part of a drape over herself while changing, but the drape slipped and revealed her bare chest to the world. No sensor was able to catch it at the moment, and any footage now is of course blurred, but that's what happens when you do it live. It wasn't just Miley that caused issues. Kanye West also made a long-winded speech that was kind of a rant, kind of a truth bomb, but mostly nonsense. The speech derailed the flow of the show and was just a little peek into the madman that was being created. Oh, and to top it all off. No Beyonce, no Madonna, no Lady Gaga. Why? Number nine, Michael's birthday speech. Travel back to 2002 with me for a moment. It's just a jump to the left. <laughs> it's a musical thing. On August 29th, the VMAs took place on what also happened to be Michael Jackson's birthday. In case you forgot, Michael was the thriller guy, Macaulay Culkin's best friend. You should not forget him. In honor of Michael Jackson and in celebration, MTV threw a birthday party during the event. Britney Spears was tasked with presenting Michael and delivering his birthday cake. During his speech to set up Michael's arrival, she praised him as an incredible performer and referred to him as the artist of the millennium. Things got a little awkward when Michael took the stage and started giving a speech, thanking the audience for giving him the Artist of the Millennium Award. In one of the most uncomfortable moments in MTV's history, Michael Jackson started describing his childhood and how appreciative he was for the honor being bestowed upon him. The crowd was confused but ultimately decided to play along and gave him a massive round of applause. When Michael found out about the incident, he was actually more giggly than anything else. According to his management team at the time, he thought it was hilarious and felt like the biggest fool in the world. A happy birthday indeed. Number eight, Oscar Streaker. This is by far the oldest entry on this list, dating back to 1974. During the Oscar ceremony, as the host David Niven was introducing Elizabeth Taylor, who was presenting the award for best picture, as he was making a speech literally referencing how the world was having a bit of a nervous breakdown and that films provided an escape from reality, a man wearing nothing but his mustache and his birthday suit ran across the stage, throws up a peace sign, and disappears off the camera. He never says a single word the entire time he's up there. After Niven had a bit of a chuckle, he told the crowd that this was bound to happen, but was it? Even in 1974, it was pretty difficult to get into the Oscars without an invitation. Robert Opel, the man with the mustache, made his way through security by posing as a journalist, and while behind the scenes, he cut a hole in a large and expensive piece of curtain that was supposed to be used for projecting images, and then made it to the other side of the stage. It was later revealed that this was actually somewhat planned, as the man was encouraged by a producer to make an appearance, and to do what he did when Niven said his lines, which was a strange and memorable moment for sure. Number seven, Miss Universe. Getting the name wrong for an award show moment is one thing, and at the Oscars, there are at least a ton of people who can share in your disappointment if that ever happens. But in 2015, Steve Harvey, the host of Family Feud, was the host of the Miss Universe pageant, bringing women from all around the globe to compete for the title of Miss Universe. As Steve went on to announce the winner, he confidently exclaimed that Miss Columbia, who was really the first runner up, was the winner, when actually it was Miss Philippines. The mistake was not his fault though. During the rehearsal, he was only supposed to say two names, the runner-up and the winner, but last minute they changed it to where he had to say three names, which really just threw him off and created a lot of chaos. The teleprompter said one name, but someone in his ear told him to just read the name on the card that he was holding. Those were two different names, and a fumble took place. He went backstage and got told he did a great job, but then he was told he said the wrong name, and instead of waiting for the news to come out the next day, Steve walked back on stage, revealed he made a mistake, and to the devastation of one woman and the delight of another. He received a lot of flack for this moment, but again, not really his fault. Number six, 
Moonlight mix-up. This is one of the few live TV fumbles I actually got to see happen live, and I was just as confused as the rest of the world. In 2017, at the Oscar ceremony, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway appeared on stage to present an award for Best Film. They opened an envelope and read the name out loud. At first, Faye was a little confused, as it was later revealed that the envelope said Emma Stone La La Land because she was accidentally handed a copy of the winners from Best Actress in a leading role. Because it said La La Land, she confidently told the audience that La La Land won the Oscar. As the crew from the project flooded the stage, Warren and Faye just looked confused until the stage was overflowing with excited cast and crew ready to accept their Oscars. However, one moment later, the director of the film, Damien Chazelle, saw the envelope and addressed the audience. A mistake had been made and they didn't win. A stagehand jogged to them, just bolted across the room, handed them the real winner's name, which was Moonlight, who had won Best Picture that year, not La La Land. There is a moment of people thinking it's some kind of a joke, but the director was being very sincere. And the best part of this moment, Ryan Gosling is in the background, the lead of the movie and a nominee for Best Actor, and all he is doing is trying to contain his laughter. He wasn't even upset, it was more like a you gotta be kidding me type deal. Something tells me that Faye and Warren won't be asked to present any awards anytime soon. Number five, Adele Dazeem. A while back in 2014, John Travolta flubbed the name of one of the most famous women in musical theater history. At the Oscars that year, he was supposed to introduce Adina Menzel ahead of her performance of Let It Go, cause in case you didn't know, she voices Elsa. She was also Alphaba in the musical Wicked and a ton of other stuff, but I can't geek out about that right now. For this event, she was promoting the film Frozen and showcased a piece of music that became one of the most popular songs for the next three years. It's probably still in your head right now. He was so confident in his delivery, he introduced the audience to the wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazeem. The moment spawned some parody Twitter accounts, and there's even an Adele Dazeem random name generator that's turned people like Jared Leto into Jed Lopez and Matthew McConaughey into Michael Mazzoline. Kind of like that one. The following year, the two appeared on stage together again, where Adina decided to drop some revenge. She was set to introduce the next round of nominees, and as a little joke, the Oscars executives decided to invite John Travolta back to team up with Adele. She introduced him by his new name, Glom Gazingo. The interaction between them seemed a little bit forced, but it was nice that they played the whole thing off as funny rather than an actual incident. Since then, John is supposed to triple check everything before he presents and has to practice pronouncing names constantly. Number four, Will Smith versus Chris Rock. In 2022, Chris Rock was presenting at the 94th annual Oscar ceremony when he decided to make a little joke about Jada Pinkett Smith and her hair loss. Rock expressed his excitement to see her in a fictional G.I. Jane movie, and immediately following the joke, which was very funny and landed for everyone else. Rock stood in confusion because Will Smith started making his way to the stage. What's going on? Well, Will adjusted his jacket, took a firm stance, and clocked Chris right across his cheeks. He winded up his hand first to conjure the ultimate amount of force, and initially this was seen as a planned joke or something, but then Will started shouting several times at Rock to keep his wife's name out of his mouth, adding a couple F-bombs in there. Chris handled the situation pretty well, and he kept his cool, laughing it off for the camera, and he brought out the next award presenter. He was professional and was quick to get the night back on track, but unfortunately about an hour later, Will Smith won an Oscar for Best Actor in a Leading Role because he played, you know, Richard Williams, the father of tennis superstars Venus and Serena, in a movie. But during his speech, he gave a half-hearted apology for his actions before claiming the situation was due to his months of portraying the father on set, leaving him with an extreme paternal sense to protect his family. Unfortunately for Will, the slap was enough to get him banned from the Oscars indefinitely. And on top of that, he seemingly can't himself, now being seen as an aggressive man with no impulse control. He was fired from upcoming projects, and right now he just sits at his home polishing his one and only Oscar next to one single lit candle in the darkest room of his mega mansion. Number three, Adrian Brody and Halle Berry. We're popping back again to 2003 at the Academy Awards, where Halle Berry presented Adrian Brody with the award for best actor in a leading role. Normally, when you accept an award like this, you walk on stage, thank the person person who announced you and give a little speech, but instead Adrian grabbed Halle Berry's face and pulled her in close, planting one right on her. At the time the incident was brushed off and nothing was thought of it, but a couple of years ago Halle admitted that the moment was unplanned and she had no idea what was happening. At the time this moment was seen as comedic or just some fun between friends, but in 2023 the moment feels a lot darker and it's pretty clear that Halle was uncomfortable. Number two, Jennifer Lawrence. This is one of the more memorable awards 
award show moments of all time that she may never live down. In 2013, while walking up the stage to accept her Oscar for Best Actress, Jennifer took a little tumble and tripped on her dress. She stood giggling for a moment, but eventually made her way to the stage. But the following year, she fell again, only this time on the red carpet, and again the next year. People started to notice a pattern and started to think that maybe she was just doing it on purpose to appear more grounded. Not some Hollywood elite who knows how to walk properly, you know? Because <laughs> if you're not famous, then you can't walk straight. Those are the rules. Eventually, she got her footing down and has not made any more on-air tumbles in recent history, but we can chalk up the moments to Jen wearing a dress that was a little bit just too long and not paying attention to where she was stepping, but that's about it. And at number one, the Kanye snub. Now, there are so many reasons that Kanye West is banned from attending another VMA show in his life and most award shows. Now, we could chalk it up to him being a cuckoo. After all, he was fired from basically every company he worked for when he posted some pretty bad tweets that I will not get into. But the reality is that Kanye was banned in the mid-2010s following several public mishaps, as well as one onstage incident that people still talk about today. The incident took place in 2009 when Taylor Swift was trying to accept her award for Best Female Artist of the Year. Kanye stormed the stage, took the mic from her hand, and told everyone that he was gonna let her finish, but that Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time, guys! He didn't sound that nerdy, but Taylor still jokes about the incident to this day. While she was in Mexico City this year for her Eros tour, she took to the stage to play her piano and the crowd started chanting her name. She said that having someone interrupt you by chanting your name is actually the best way to be interrupted and she should know. Kanye was issued a ban from the following year, but he has since received a lifetime ban from the VMAs and from his fame in general. And if you enjoyed that video, leave a like down below, follow the channel for more celebrity content every day. Thank you for stopping beyond the screen. We'll see you next time.